What's up guys, Dark Ruler here, aka Blackheart909, and today we're testing out Kronos the New Dawn. Now this game just came out a few um, hours ago on Early Access, and I've tested it out a little bit on my Steam Deck OLED, and first impressions are this game actually runs pretty well. So currently we're running with everything on very low, and there's not too much uh, customization you can do for this game, but... Uh, there are some options that make me think that performance tweaking might be good. Maybe I haven't taken a look at the settings menu properly yet. So let's just look at display. And these are the options we have. For rendering, we only have quality preset. And right now it's set to very low. And ray tracing is disabled when the preset is set to low or very low. We're also going to be testing it out with lossless scaling. And see how that works. Uh, we can also turn dynamic resolution on and off. We'll test that out a little bit as well, and we'll see how, how far we can get with lossless scaling. But for now, everything is very low. This is native resolution, and uh, yeah, we're hovering around 45 to 70 FPS, depending on scene load. And I actually think this might be one of the first games to fully optimize uh, for the Steam Deck. That's actually awesome. So hold LT, break this. There we go. I'm just gonna skip through all the cutscenes for now. I wanna enjoy this game myself later on. But we're in game right now, very low settings, native resolution, and we're at like 90 FPS. And I know that this isn't gonna stick when you go into the city in more demanding areas. It'll definitely drop lower. But from what we can see so far, it looks pretty good. And uh, we're not even using lossless scaling yet. So let's see what happens if we first off go a little bit deeper. Okay, now we're going closer to 50 FPS, 49. There is some stutter with uh, moving into these more complex areas. I'll activate this. But I think the game runs extremely well on the Steam Deck OLED. Like, I would definitely enjoy playing this game on a plane, even if it's on very low. So, I would say the game typically looks something like this, okay? And from the gameplay tra trailers I've seen, it looks a lot like this, generally. Which would mean that we can start to play around with settings now. First off, I want to switch to high, so punch, punch and stop. Okay. So my, my thought is that if we switch to high, it's going to instantly drop our frame rate or even medium. But let's try high because now it's starting to do ray tracing. Yeah, there we go. My theory has been confirmed. We're sitting at 18, 15 FPS. It is still impressive because you're, uh, you're ray tracing on the Steam Deck, but it's a little too much to handle for the Steam Deck OLED. So let's go ahead and change this to, um, yeah, let's first, let's see if we can salvage high, right? Let's do dynamic resolution, keep 60, and let's do TSR on low. So this only gives you one option for upscaling, and that's TSR. Mm, yeah, we can turn off chromatic aberration. And let's put accept. Okay, that doesn't really bring us anywhere. The game still looks good, but high is high might be too much. So let's go ahead and do medium which is still with ray tracing. And we're gonna try to help it as much as it, we can. So let's go ahead and do uh, quality preset medium, accept. And we get like one extra FPS. This is Unreal Engine 5, so you can see these lumen artifacts here from the lighting engine which I would say don't play it this way. It's, it's definitely not gonna be an optimal experience, but what happens if we go ahead and turn off ray tracing and go down to low? So 
for low, I'm going to turn off upscaling for now, and I'm also going to turn off dynamic resolution. And let's see what the game runs like. So we're running native on low instead of very low. And uh, yeah, at low, we're getting around 29 FPS, 22 FPS, which is significantly lower than very low. Like if I go back up to very low from here, and it's a shame you can't really um, optimize the settings by changing different parameters, but I guess they want you to have a certain experience altogether. And if we switch to very low, the game still looks good, right? But like shadows don't look as detailed. I would say this is a perfect experience on the Steam Deck anyway, because it's so sharp. Okay, let's try to make it easier for the Steam Deck now, right? Let's go ahead and see what's the best performance we can get out of the Steam Deck. So I don't want to keep dynamic resolution to 60. I'll just go ahead and turn on TSR on low. Let's see how that runs. TSR on low, we're getting 68, really good FPS. The game looks pretty good still. I can't really notice too much uh, super sampling. But again, this isn't how I would, I, I would honestly be happy with this experience. It looks really good. Everything looks sharp and crisp. I would personally just turn off TSR. So settings and go down to super sampling. Maybe just have it on high. Let's see how this performs. Okay, we're dropping below 60 FPS a little bit more now. Let's see if we can fix that with dynamic resolution before we try LSFG. So TSR is high, dynamic resolution, let's keep 60. And let's save the changes, of course. Let's see if the dynamic res can help us. Yeah, I do notice more aliasing, especially over there, if you look. And it doesn't really perform that much better. So, yeah, I would just keep dynamic resolution off. You could keep TSR on high if you'd like. Some extra headroom for performance. It's always nice. And the aliasing is not as bad. What about native? Native? How does the aliasing look? Here we go. Wow, it actually performs better on native and looks better. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend turning TSR on this one. Uh, maybe XESS if they do decide to include it later for the Steam Deck. But for now, you can turn on XESS on the Steam Deck. Uh, you might be able to do it using non-Steam Deck presets from the from the lossless scaling app. But before we enable lossless scaling, I want to see if we can redeem the low preset here. So let's go ahead and turn this to low. Accept. Our frame rate is going to dip. We're at 24. What if we turn on TSR now on low? Let's see how that works. Okay, TSR and low brings us up to 33. Not too bad. The game does look better like this. Um, the trade-off, I think, is not worth it, to be honest. But let's see what happens when we do TSR on high. Can we still get above 30? No, unfortunately, the resolution jump is a little too severe. So, how do we fix this? Let's check if dynamic resolution can do anything. Let's try to go for 60. It's going to probably go all the way down in resolution. No, it actually gets worse. So maybe dynamic resolution and TSR actually don't help too much. Let's keep just dynamic resolution and 60. So we're allowing it to scale down as much as it needs. Okay, yeah. Let's 
slightly less playable. So I would say if you want to play on low, you could do this. You could go for um, dynamic resolution off, TSR on low, quality preset on low, motion blur if that's personal preference. But this makes low a playable experience, right? And then you can further enhance it by turning on lossless scaling. I wouldn't 100% recommend using lossless scaling on these exact settings because you're getting drops to, to 30, but let's see what happens when you do 2x. Okay, we're like at 75 FPS now. The game's pretty smooth, honestly. I would actually play it this way. It's way better than I expected it to be. It does feel a little bit heavier, but it's not that bad to be honest. 57 FPS, lossless scaling, lots of dynamic shadows. That's a 25 FPS section right there, but let's see what happens if we do 3x. We haven't enabled this fully anyway. So let's do 3x. Okay, we're at 80. There is more visual breakup because of how many frames are being generated. So I wouldn't 100% suggest playing this, playing it this way. What if we do settings and go down here to display, turn off TSR and go back to very low. Okay. And we have lossless scaling on top. So we don't need this much lossless scaling. We can just set it to uh, 2x. And we're already well above 60 FPS. So we're playing around 90, 100. Now you could lock the game frame rate to 45 FPS and get a smooth 90 fps in this game let's actually try that we'll try the inbuilt frame limit okay you can only do 30 or or 60 here but if you wanted you could lo lock it through lossless scaling and then just play at 90 fps for your whole experience um yeah i think overall this is definitely playable way more than playable on a steam deck i'm sure you can enjoy this game really well and you also have the option to play at low settings instead of very low if you're using lossless scaling or if you don't mind the 30 fps experience anyway guys i hope you found this video useful i hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave a like comment down below with what you'd like me to te test next i might do this on a 5080 just to see the performance there and how good this game can look ultra wide i hope you guys enjoyed subscribe for more dark ruler aka blackheart909 signing off